What's up guys, it's Ed from TechSource and welcome to another episode of What's in the Box. Now obviously I lied about the last episode being the final episode here in this apartment, but I did not expect to get this many boxes within like two days. So obviously I have to finish these up before I move. Um, and also before I begin the episode guys, I want to address something that I've been reading in the comment section of the last episode. So it's come to my attention that some people think that I'm ungrateful for getting these packages and products from companies. Now obviously my longtime subscribers have been watching me from the beginning and the earlier episodes of What's in a Box. You guys already know that that's not the case. It's more the new subscribers that are joining in and watching the more recent episodes of What's in a Box. Now I know that actions speak louder than words, so obviously if I grab something and throw it halfway across the room, that kind of comes off as rude and being ungrateful. But that is not the case, guys. I'm always thankful of everything I get on this channel, guys. Whether it's from companies that are sending in products for me to check out, or whether it's you guys sending in gifts or even letters to read, I truly appreciate everything. Even though I don't say this as much in front of the camera, I'm very thankful for God for giving me the ability to do this every single day. This is my dream job, guys. I mean, I am so grateful to be in this position, honestly. Having amazing subscribers like you guys watching my content, and having companies send me boxes like these, every week i mean seriously i am like the happiest guy ever so the reason why i throw boxes across the room is because of entertainment reasons now i know that doesn't really make sense to most of you guys but let me give you an example what is more entertaining grabbing this and gently placing it on the floor or this now, obviously I, I knew what was inside there i know it's not going to break that's why i tossed it but you guys kind of get the idea of what I'm trying to make here. But anyways, I'm not trying to make any excuses. I will try and be more appreciative on camera just to uh, not offend anybody that's watching the channel because I do appreciate your feedback. And obviously, if you guys don't like the stuff that I do, I will do my best to try and work around it. But anyways, I, I love reading your comments, honestly. Continue to let me know your feedback in the comment section, whether it's things you like, whether it's things you don't like and I'll do my best to change it for future videos. All right, so with that said, let me go get that package and begin unboxing. All right, so we don't have any letters this time, so we're gonna go straight into the uh, package unboxings. So about 95% of these boxes are PC parts, and they're gonna be part of my PC build for July. I'm gonna be doing two builds. Hopefully I have enough time to do it, but let's see. So this is from Scud USA. I'm not sure what this is. Let's go ahead and open this up. I'm guessing this is a brand that's sending in one of the products for me to check out, so let's check it out. Whoa, what the heck? Oh, so this is a charger for the Echo Dot, the Amazon Echo Dot. So instead of plugging the Echo Dot straight to a wall, you can put it on this and it's gonna charge the device and you can take it with you wherever you want. So basically, this charging hub makes the Echo Dot portable. That is pretty cool. So this portion plugs in here and the micro USB portion connects to the back of the Echo Dot. That is pretty cool. It's called Freemo. I'll drop a link below if you guys wanna check it out. Thank you guys so much for sending this out. All right, moving on. Let's open up these small ones first. Oh, speaking of the Echo Dot, they sent this to me, <laughs> I guess to use uh, with the charging hub. So. Again, I wanna thank Freemo for sending this in. I'm definitely gonna feature this in my cool tech for August. I promise you that. All right, a few more tiny boxes and then we can get into the good stuff. Oh, ho, ho. we got some Corsair fans. So yeah, guys, in case you haven't noticed, Corsair is definitely one of the sponsors for the PC build I'm doing for this month. Huge thanks to you guys out there for sending these parts in. Honestly, without you, most of my bills were not, will not even be possible. You guys make it happen. I love you guys so much, thank you. This one's DHL, I think this is cable mod. Yes, it's cable mod. I love cable mod so much. These guys at cable mod have come such a long way. Before when they started out, I did not like their products. The quality check was not great, but they have honestly stepped up their game and that is why I'm using cable mod for most of my builds now. We got some white and silver sleeving over here. We got some silver thumb screws for the case. We got some RGB LEDs, of course. And in here, 
we got memory modding kit for the Dominator Platinums. I'm gonna be using the white color and it's gonna look really nice with the silver heat spreader on the Corsair Platinum. So very stoked to be modding the RAM sticks on my build. Thank you so much Cable Mod for sending these in. Honestly, your cables are some of the best out there and that is why I keep coming back to you. So Thomas, if you're watching, thank you, I love you. One more final package and then we can move on to the other stuff. Actually, there's one more tiny box up here, but we're getting, we're zooming through this pretty quickly. I think I know what this one is. This is from my boy Hassan from V1 Tech. I love your products. I love the custom work that you guys do. You guys are probably sick of me talking about V1 Tech, but I pretty much use most of their products in almost every single one of my high-end builds. The packaging is always incredible. Are you guys ready for this? Should I reveal the fan grills and the back plates on camera right now? Why not? Why not? I'm gonna show you guys a fire SLI bridge real quick. One eternity later. Okay, that took a while to peel off. Normally they don't come with these um, stickers on top of it, but I guess that's something new that they're doing and that's cool. But check out this dope MSI custom SLI bridge that I'm gonna be using for the build, guys. How sexy does this thing look? Seriously. I'll show you guys one back plate. I'm not gonna show you the fan grills. You guys are just gonna have to wait for the video, but let me peel this damn thing off and I'll show you. One eat. God damn! You guys never cease to amaze me. Check this backplate out, guys. That is sick. Now that is how you do a custom backplate. Honestly, I feel like your backplates have gotten better as well. I don't know if it's different material you guys are using, but these look freaking amazing. The precision on these, honestly, the cutting, the details is perfect. Obviously, I got some fan grills as well. I don't know if I'll use them, but I got them just in case. It all depends on how the build turns out near the end but again thank you so much Hassan at v1 tech for sending this in you guys are always killing it in the custom game thank you guys so much all right moving on skull candy headphones these are the crusher wireless headphones from skull candy um, I'm supposed to do a video on this so you guys might see it at the end of the video sometime on the channel. Thank you guys so much for sending this in. I can't wait to check it out. What to open next? Oh my God, I'm like so excited. It's like Christmas morning for me right now. We got none other than the Corsair H100i V2. This is personally my favorite CPU cooler right now in the market. Uh, it's a little on the pricey side, but honestly it does a phenomenal job keeping temp slow. I can overclock the crap out of CPUs. It's super quiet. I mean, is there anything else to say really? Of course, you guys do an amazing job. Thank you again for sending this in. I can't wait. We've got the GPU for one of the builds. This is the MSI Armor GTX 1080 Ti or Ti, whatever. Okay, I know it's called Ti. I don't know why I thought it was called Ty in that one video, but this is the Armor OC version, which means it's the black and white uh, color scheme. Obviously at this point, I'm sure you guys already know the color scheme I'm going with on one of the builds. It's gonna be, actually it's gonna be black and white with silver accents. It's gonna look really sick, I promise you guys. Have I ever let you guys down when it comes to PC builds? So this is the motherboard I'm going to be using for one of my other builds that's coming up. I think this is going to be the first build on the channel. Unfortunately, the other one might have to get pushed for August, but we will see how timing is because right now it's a bit crazy here at the headquarters. But I go with this motherboard so many times. If you're going with the Ryzen build, by the way, this is one of the best boards you can buy for the money. For 80 bucks, you get so much more compared to other motherboards within the same price point. So I think it's like the third one I've bought. And by the way, I bought this with my own money. But anyways, I'm done rambling. Um, I wasn't a huge fan of ASRock before, but recently they've been killing it in the motherboard game. So continue to do what you guys do at ASRock. Thank you for making some boss ass motherboards.
so this one's from Amazon. I'm not sure what on earth is in here. That's why it's called what's in a box. Duh, I don't know what is in most of these boxes. It looks like we got more Seagate drives. We got two four terabyte Barracuda from Seagate. Oh, this is the Intel Optane memory stick that I'm gonna be plugging into one of my upcoming builds. Basically, the idea behind this is I'm gonna combine this with one of these hard drives and it's gonna give me very fast speeds compared to SSDs, if not faster than SSDs. And the point of this is to give you guys more value. This combined with the hard drive you guys will actually be saving a lot more money and you'll be getting speeds as fast as SSDs. And that's kind of what I'm trying to prove in my upcoming video. But anyways, more info on that once the video launches, of course. I think we are halfway done. I feel like I've been unboxing for days. <laughs> Got another Corsair H100 V2 CPU cooler. And in here, ladies and gentlemen, if I can get this damn thing open, how do they bag this damn thing? Got the one and only i9-7900X 10 core processor from Intel. Uh, that I pretty much revealed the processor I'm using in the build, obviously. It is a high-end build and I had to go with the new Skylake X platform, so obviously I had to get the best of the best. And currently that's what the best one is right now. Unfortunately, the 12 core processor is not available just yet. But if it does get out, I'll definitely do a build on that as well. <laughs> what? We got two, this is the second GTX 1080 Ti for the build. Here's the thing, MSI sent me one and they couldn't send me a second one because they were out of stock. So I'm like, well, what's more badass? One GTX 1080 Ti or two GTX 1080 Ti's? So, so yeah, I'm sure a lot of you guys already deduced earlier by looking at the SLI bridge that I'm gonna be using two GPUs, but both from MSI, the Armor Series 1080 Ti. I gotta go all out. If I'm not going all out, it is not a tech source build. You guys know that already. And this is the memory for the build. We've got an M.2, 480 gigabyte from Corsair, the MP500, and then we got a single Line 60 gigabyte SSD from the Force LS series. Three more boxes left. Another package from Corsair. Um, I think I know what this is. Actually, I have no idea. Let's check it out. Oh my god, yes! No! Hello darkness, my old friend. <laughs> I don't know why I keep dropping things, but here we go guys. 64 gigs of RAM. The Dominator Platinums, of course. Um, what is the speed on these? So these are 3200 megahertz, and I believe there are eight sticks of eight gigs of RAM. So it's gonna occupy all eight slots of the motherboard. I think I got all the parts already. I'm not sure what the rest of the stuff here is for. What else am I missing? Oh, I'm missing a power supply and motherboard. Okay, there's a FedEx envelope and some other parts in here. All right, so we got a Samsung 960 Pro M.2 SSD. Uh, this is the 520, 521, 512 gigabyte version. I was like, what, 521? Uh, so yeah, this is gonna be the memory of one of the builds. This is for the second build, guys. We got a power supply from Seagate. This is a modular version. This is the most affordable one you can buy uh, that's also bronze certified and it's fully modular because I'm gonna be doing a mini ITX build. Obviously, I don't like all the cables, so that is why I picked this power supply from Seasonic. And the GPU we're using is the Nitro Plus RX 580 from Sapphire. They overclocked the crap out of this, so that is one of the reasons why I went with this one. Um, yeah, thank you Sapphire for sending this in. Last but not least, we got another ba baggage package from MSI. Oh, okay. So technically I'm not supposed to show this on camera because it is under NDA until Friday, so 
if you guys, if this is not blurred, that means it's past NDA and I can show this, but this is MSI's new X299 X Power Gaming motherboard. This is a very high-end X299 chipset motherboard. Mm -hmm. Yes. Wow, this thing is heavy. Take a look at this beauty. I don't know what the heck this is, but it definitely looks cool. That's all that matters. But it's cool, it's cause it's got some gray slash silver accents. I think it's gonna go really well with the, uh, the black and white with silver accent build that I'm going with. It's got a really interesting looking M.2 shield. What on earth? Whoa, it's like a transformer thing here. This is crazy. It's got four PCI slots, eight DIMM slots. I mean, this is seriously the ultimate motherboard. How many M.2 slots does this thing have? One, two, three. Does it have any in the back? Definitely can't wait to um, test out the overclocking features of this as well as do a build in it. Thank you so much MSI and Corsair, honestly, for sending these parts in. You guys always work so close with me and make these builds possible on the channel. That is why I'm wearing one of their shirts, by the way. <laughs> you guys are awesome. Thank you so much for your support. I cannot thank you guys enough. So that pretty much wraps up the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, the case I'm using is actually down there. There's no space for me to bring it up here, but it is the Corsair 570X Crystal Newegg exclusive PC case. It's only available on Newegg. It's, I looked at it, I'm like, I had to have this. But anyways, I'll put a picture of it somewhere on here if you guys wanna check it out. If you guys enjoy my What's in the Box series, make sure to leave a like to show your support. If you didn't like it, feel free to dislike as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.